guys, today I'm going to be reading Gut, so let's get started. Lauren explained that fears often have no rhyme or reason, but that we all have some level of self-control. Pluck, so maybe, too. I should learn to have control over my fears, too, swallow. Please don't let me get sick. Please don't let me get sick. Please don't let me get sick. Please don't let me... Z Victory! Shortly thereafter, I discovered Marnet artichoke hearts are good on salad, lettuce, croutons, Italian dressing, artichokes, and on pizza. Mmm, even straight from the jar. So I'm not afraid of eating artichokes in anymore. Isn't that cool? Does it mean that I'm cured? Sometimes we have things in life we need to work on, but that doesn't mean we're sick. It's not as simple as having a physical illness or a cure. Oh, but I'm glad you're eating artichokes again. Food for that. How come you're late for school so much? Um, because I go to the therapist. Why, something wrong with you? Are you crazy? I can't tell you. Mr. Abrams! Mr. Abrams? Yes, Dina, Mr. Abrams. Mr. Abrams, speaking of things being wrong, wrong, something was going on with the girls in my class. Dina, why don't you go home if you're not feeling good? Sigh. You're not mature enough to understand. Ring. Two more hours of class. How will I make it through? Last year, bodily functions were common currency. This year, is this the door stuck? Everything was private. Shh, whispered Giggle. A mystery. Bam! Ha ha ha! The boys hadn't gotten to the memo yet, but it seemed like the girls were slowly forming a secret club, to which I was not invited. Shrug. Later. Everyone's acting weird, huh? I guess you're all at that age. What age? Ten. Puberty. Oh, ew. I know the basics. Your body changes. Your hormones change. I guess that is kind of personal. Giggle. Hey! Hee hee ha! Was puberty to blame for my stomach aches? I don't know. Was puberty to blame for my sudden panic attacks? I do know what... No, my parents were paying t way too much attention to me. What's going on? Am I in trouble? Ha so, honey, we met with Lauren. What did she say? Did I do something wrong? No, no. Your dad and I met with Lauren sometimes, remember? That's how child therapy works. I'm not a child. Okay, okay, you're a person, a minor. Better dip. So, is something wrong with me? Lauren just thinks you could use a little more space, Russell. You shared a bedroom since Amaya was born. So, what are all of you... Of all of you going to share a room, we only have two of them. Bam, bam. Shoof. See, way more privacy. What young person shares a room with her parents? Listen, if you rather we, if you rather we give the space to your sister or brother, no, no, no. Shoof. That night, huh? No more, more bed bunk. No one's watching me. Cuddle, snuggle, snore. No sound barrier. <coughs> Crunch. Morning, kiddo. Sleep okay? No. How do you put it with dad snoring? I just like, I guess I got used to it. Maybe I could like sleep down here on the couch or something? Nope, your grandma's coming to live with us for a little while. What? Mm -hmm. We all like grandma, but six people in a, in a, in a already tiny part, apartment. It's just till space opens up at the new seniors community in six months. The arrangement is ter temporary, but family's forever, grump. Where can I put my shoes? Just throw them on top of the pile. My sisters and I were lucky to even have shoes. We lived three miles outside of Pinkyville, and every day we'd walk to, let's go to my room. Want to see the comments I've been making? Shoof. Haha, -ha, oh my gosh, is that your dad, the snoring one? Yeah. These are so cool. How did you do this? I just kind of look around me and me and listen to what people say. Then I make comics about it. I wish I could draw. Try. No, I can't. I've tried. I can't. I've seen you draw Precious Kitty. Come on. No, I, I just trace her. That's okay. Maybe you can write a story and I can draw it. Ooh, that would be fun. We could base the characters on our little brothers or the kids at school. Girls? Hee 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 hee. I have to drive you home, Jane. Aww. Ow! Click. Wine. Sorry, we're so fussy, everyone. Yow! That's okay. This is good source material. Hee. The next day. Big game today? Everyone excited? I'm going upstairs. Aw, come on. Shoof. A perfect afternoon. 
Ring. Raina, 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 Pop. Hello? Jane, is that you? What's wrong? I can't understand you. We're moving. You are where? The suburbs over near the airport. When Alma and pa Appa said we can finish out the school year here, but then we're going away. I won't know anybody in my new town. My dentist is near the airport. It's not that far. And do you remember Rosa from third grade? Her family lives over there now, too. Honk. And they have a big house with four bedrooms and a tree house and a creek in their backyard and a gazebo. I bet you and your brother will each get your own room. So lucky it's so nice and sunny by the airport. I'd love it if my family... Raina! I don't want to go, okay? I thought Jane was lucky. She thought I was the lucky one, Tear. Look at my gloomy gusts. What's the matter? Puberty? Oh, wait. Obviously not. Michelle's turn to give an LDI came around. I'm going to demonstrate how to make Waldorf salad. It's one of my family's favorite dishes. The ingredients are apple, celery, walnuts, that sounds okay, and mayonnaise. Ew! Clap. Michelle, please continue. Raina, can I see you in the hall? So first you chop the apple into bite-sized pieces. I'm sorry, just apples and mayonnaise? Gag. I think that sounds delicious. Everyone eats different things. We all have our likes and dislikes. But please... Please try not to be disrespectful of other people. Treat others as you wish to be treated. So non-teacher speak, I think that means try it. Play, sniff, lick. Nope, not my thing. Mmm, yum, wow, mmm, good, tasty, yeah, mmm. Thank you, Michelle. Let's give her a hand. Clap, 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 clap. So what is your deal? You didn't give away your lunches. You didn't want Michelle's salad. So, do you have a dis eating disorder? No. Nah, she's just a weirdo. Dina! See, you won't have to go to middle school with any of these beanies. You get a fresh start. I don't want a fresh start. The idea of ma leaving makes me want to puke. The idea of m puking wants me to never eat, run, hide, scream, not touch things. Ah, so your best friend is moving away. What about the other kids in your class? Some of them are mean to me, Pick. Are you being bullied? They don't beat me up or anything. They don't steal my stuff. I just get teased a lot. How does that make you feel? On a scale of 1 to 10. Where 1 is, maybe a raised eyebrow. 1, 2, 3, chatter, 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 4, 5, 6, gas, gas, 7, 8, slip, 9, and 10 is losing all control. 10. Mm -hmm. Probably like a five. It makes my stomach hurt. And then I'm scared I'm going to puke. And that makes me feel about an eight, eight or nine. As far as being scared goes. When I'm in this space, I can't feel, I feel like I can't get out. Try. I feel like I won't survive it. Try. I feel like I can't control anything. Try. I can't. I feel like I can't even try. Try anyway. Gasp, 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 gasp. Concentrate on your feet. Touching the floor. Let that ground you. Let your feet anchor you. Just breathe. <gasps> Would it help to explain to your classmates what you're going through? I don't know. I don't want them to know that I'm afraid of throw up. It's just so babyish, weird, dumb, stupid. I bet your friend, all your friends are secretly scared of something. Let's go back to breathing. Just breathe. Feet, ground, breathe. Okay? Mm -hmm. Scale of 1 to 10? 5? You never made it all the way to a 10, except in age. So I'm going to stop here. I hope you enjoy my video. Please subscribe to our channel. Bye!